Hi, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use 3D animation in Explainio 3.0. This new version was released on October 4th, 2016, and one of the new features is the 3D animation functionality. If you're new to EVC 3.0, I'd recommend that you watch these tutorials to better understand how it works. I'm going to start off by explaining how the navigation of 3D objects works in EVC 3.0. So you have to first open a project or create a new one and then create a scene. I currently have this 3D teapot object on the canvas and in a moment I'll show you how to add a 3D object to the canvas. When you click on the object you will notice that it gives you a few navigation options. These three icons, the shift lock, rotation and add animation are similar to the navigation options for other objects, but this edit mode button is specific to 3D objects. So let me show you how it works. So once you add a 3D object to the canvas, you can move it by dragging and dropping using a mouse like so. You can resize using these handles like so, and you can use the shift key it's a toggle to essentially again resize it proportionally or not. You can use this rotation tool to change the orientation. And you can use this add animation right here to add an animation keyframe and I'll show you that in a moment. Now let's get into edit mode by clicking right here. So once you're in edit mode, you will notice these four arrows. And essentially you can use these arrows to move up, down, left and right like so. Also with your mouse cursor, you can change the orientation of the 3D object on the X and Y axis like so. Additionally, you can use your mouse trackball or roller to zoom the 3D object in and out like so. To get out of the edit mode, just click the button again and then you're back to the default. Okay, so now let me show you how to add a 3D object on the canvas. I'm going to create a new scene and then down below you will notice this add 3D object button. You should already have some sample 3D objects under your explained your and 3D images folder. I'm going to use this astronaut 3D image and you'll notice that he's facing towards me. So I'll go into edit mode and then I'll change him to face right and then I'll get out of edit mode. Now if I close the canvas, you'll notice that this is an animated 3D object. So one good way to use this animation is to add few animation points. So I'm just going to open the canvas and I'm going to just drag this guy outside the canvas and add an animation point. And as you can see, it creates a keyframe. I'll add a couple more. And then I'll add another one and take him off the canvas. Now if I close the canvas, you will notice that uh, he's animated and it's a nice way to animate an animated 3D object. Now you will notice that right here that there is a separate tab called 3D object. And there are a few options here. For example, here you can change the start and end frames. And also in this case, for this 3D object, you can loop it. If I go to the Scene tab, I can also add a background video or image to give it sort of a realistic effect. As you can see, it moves too fast. So if I open the canvas, I can just decrease the, or rather increase the frames. 24 frames equals 1 second. So if I increase this to say 50, it'll be a little slower. 
as you can see. Let me show you one more example here. Again, this is uh, this is a, a 3D animation that you would have also received with the explained you as one of the sample files. And if I go to the 3D object tab, you will notice that there is a textures box right here. And what that allows you to do is to change the color or apply a texture to this uh, animation or 3D image. As you can see, this one is kind of purplish. And if I browse through one of my um, backgrounds or textures, you can apply whatever you want to. I'm just going to, for this example, I'm just going to apply one of these ones here. And as you can see now, the color has changed. Bear in mind that EVC 3.0 only supports ZF 3D file format for 3D objects. Explaindio has an FBX to ZF 3D converter available. I'll look for the link in the description section. I'll be uploading a tutorial on how to use the FBX to ZF 3D converter. I also have a whole bunch of EVC 3.0 tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check them out. And if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.